And we're back with another episode of a sampler pod as always there's jj i'm javi today we're talking about the predictions for wwe fast lane that happens this saturday take it away starting with the first match you are looking at judgment day Damian Priest and Finn Balor going against Superman Cody Rhodes and Corny J Uso. Who do you is think this is going to be win? the main event or what? I'm not no. sure. I honestly nothing in the match course has main event to me, but yeah. <laughs> actually the Champa versus versus Gunther would have probably been a better main event. <laughs> yeah, like right now, oh the only uh, oh the 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 main event is going to be the last man standing match. Okay, yeah, that makes sense for the for the championship. Okay, cool. Yeah, but what? Tell me why. Okay, you know what? We'll get there. We'll get, we'll there. get there. But anyway, anyways. anyways, man, what do you think of this match that just popped out of nowhere? Because it, it literally was predicted on Monday Night Raw. I mean, it was uh, announced on Monday Night Raw. So, what do you think? This match, if we're just gonna go by what WWE has been doing the last few months. Uh, Cody and Jay are going to win. They're going to take the titles and ride into the sunset. And everybody will be happy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Now, 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 if it is how I want it to happen, I'd have Jay turn on Cody, which I think oh, that, that would. That would be nuts. Yeah. Would it happen? Probably not. But that would be too good. It, it would be cool. <laughs> he turns on him just to ju- join Judgment Day. No, and forget about joining all, Judgment Day. Yeah, they, they, they won't have kid like Jimmy emo, Yeah, yeah. And that, all of a sudden, wait a minute. What what happened to him? Why is <laughs> his hair straight, straight like that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, black nails. But yeah, uh, I, anyway, it's like I think uh, The Rock will call him and just tell him you're out of the family. Forget about yeah. Roman Reigns. I think yeah. I think Alpha and Seek will call him and say, "Bro, and you're your out. kids too." <laughs> Even though your kid thought that Roman was better than you, but <laughs> <laughs> and your kids' kids too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do see uh, Cody and Jay winning. Yeah. yeah Unless JD it's... McDonough gets involved, but then watch Cody pulls a fast one, and then he just whoops everybody from Judgment Day, and then counts them one, two, three, while Jay was just sleeping on the. On the corner of the hmm. ring. No, I, I, I really don't know. Now, you know what I think is kind of weird? That uh, apparently J, uh, Jay and Cody are going to be on SmackDown on Friday. Why? Why? Because supposedly Judgment Day is going to be there. But why do they have to go to SmackDown also? Like, don't they already this have enough airtime on Raw? Sense. This doesn't make any sense. Especially whenever you're trying to keep Jay away from the bloodline. But I guess, hey, it was only a one month thing. Nah, I, and then I, the I, fact I, that the fact that he's just like dissing Roman Reigns, like it's like, bro, you were put on Ross to stay away from the bloodline, stay away from Roman Reigns. Shut the fuck up! Like I understand it's part of your promo, but who wrote this? Why? Like, th- like the segments of the whole segment of Judgment Day between Rhea Ripley and Dominic saying so you know I'm your mommy right <laughs> so that means that you my poppy right it's like bro it was just nothing but cringiness it was cringy from there then it was cringy from Jay Uso's uh <laughs> what's that all about <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> the sad, Stop you know what the sad part corny. is? Stop you know what the sad part corny. is? That people do it. That's the yeah. worst part. It's not that he yeah. does it. Because it's like, hey, it sucks. All right, just let him do it a couple of times. People aren't going to follow him. Have him do something else. No. Sorry, bro. Why? That's almost bro, as bad why? as Bobby y'all, Lashley's. Y'all look stupid. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> y'all look stupid. Like, I'm just saying. He like, looks. More, he looks more dumb. But then on top of that, so then you're going to have that. So then you're going to have the Jey Uso cringy ass promo saying like, oh, yeah, so I guess we have a new tribal chief in, in Monday Night Raw. And then and then Rhea Ripley has bigger balls than Roman Reigns. So is she a dude? Is that what we're stating here? Or 
no and then on top of that then you're gonna have damien pretty say i just want to shut your mouth or something like that Te voy a Te voy a la 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 boca. Boca. Oy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like he has to say it in Spanish. Good thing he didn't translate it. At least, at least yeah, I'm at happy least, about that. At least he didn't translate it. Because you crazy. know what I'm gonna do? The way I call la boca, boy. I'm gonna shut what? your mouth, boy. Like, are you trying boy. to hide something? Are you trying not to get your ass whooped? Or what, what's going on? Why? Why are you saying it in Spanish? Why? Why are you changing the <laughs> language all of a sudden? <laughs> so it was nothing but cringiness. Like during that whole segment, I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, but that that whole thing of mommy and poppy and stuff like that that was weird. And then they're like, wait, there's no leader in the Judgment Day. But then Rhea's kind of the leader. Why is she calling the shots on who does what, who stays, who goes? So then she is the de facto leader, but they're saying there is no leader. But Damien Priest, if they're talking about uh, uh, accomplishments or whatever it is, probably you, you could say that Damien Priest has uh, has, has more of a, of a say there because... He is a tag team champion, and mm-hmm. he's also money in the bank. Yes, Rhea has the women's champion uh, championship of one brand. They have the tag team titles of both brands, and he has the money in the bank. So he could get any title he feels like almost at almost any time. Fox. So he should technically be the leader. It's it's kind of a weird dynamic there. And then JD, and then nobody's saying anything about JD McDonough either. Like he just shows up. Are you like he's part of them. Kidding me? What? What happened? What happened? So, so you know, Monday Night Raw, Rhea was like, "Oh, if you don't, if you don't come home with the title, don't bother coming home." Yeah, you're out. Fucking Trick Williams lost. Bruh. Breaking news: <laughs> Trick Williams lost. <laughs> Are you f-ing me? Why? (laughs) Why? So he could go go back home. The man, (laughs) the man had a title for two days. Mm. Are you fucking? Please tell me that he's gonna get called up. Like, please, like for God's sake. Like, I'm not get called up yet. Hopefully not. Well, like, come on, man. Like, why he lose the title? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> going back to the next match. Uh, we have... Is, hold uh, up. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, so no. NXT, the way that NXT ended, the night ended with Paul Heyman announcing he will be in Braun Breaker's corner to, to counteract bloodline rival Cena next week wow what sense does that make i could understand if it's solo but not so Paul before Heyman. the main event carmelo hayes announced that he will face brown breaker next week and john cena will be in his corner mm, that is interesting but mm, i don't know i don't know to me to me I, <laughs> there you go. And, hey and, and i get they're trying to get more main roster guys in nxt because they do pop a rating uh, apparently the the Becky matches have done really well in terms of the ratings. Uh, John Cena showing up, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna pop a rating. Also, I get it, but this makes no sense. Now they're trying to build like a storyline on top of a storyline. Now everybody Why instead the of fuck is Paul Heyman there? I don't know. I don't just, know. I I get it just because he's gonna fight. Uh, what's his name? But uh, half of the bloodline. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy and Solo, but bro, like, this is next Tuesday. I, I, I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. I, it I don't understand sense. it. I don't know make why. And, and another thing that I, that I didn't like about WWE in the Vince days was that you had a lot of people not doing anything, right? Which is true. Now you have people in three or four storylines at the same time. Because you got, for example, Rhea Ripley, perfect sense. example. She has the their own little turmoil inside of Judgment Day. That's one story. She has a story against Raquel. That's another one. Then she has uh, three with all the bunch of other women in WWE. Four 
the story in NXT? Why is she involved in four uh, stories at the same time? The story between her and Dominic because they're lovers. Yeah, so five. Why, why is she involved in so many stories? Like, is there nobody else? Like, why don't we like just she, take, stick to uh, one person having <laughs> one story and just it's it's like for example, and it's not like she has done a lot, especially with the champion. Oh, I mean, and she's probably doing that. Big, she may be hurt or something. I, I have no idea. But in the end of the day, there are other people there that you could possibly do stuff with. There are other very capable wrestlers that could do a lot of things. For example, like we've said a million times, Bailey, that she's always uh, all of a sudden everything's okay. Shotzi, crazy old Shotzi, pops up and she's running away like it's fucking uh, Tom, Tom and Jerry. Why is that? Why is that? It's stupid. It especially, makes no sense. Especially Shotzi. Shotzi fucking sucks. Oh, but, for, but forget about if it's a fucking Roblox character. I don't care. <laughs> it's going, like we're bro, going on. We're going on a rant. It's, bro, <laughs> but it's true. I'm talking about the match card. No, but, no, but, but it's true. It is true. It is true. I agree. With, I agree. Somebody, with you. you're taking away every iota of credibility she has. For what? You're not doing because if you're gonna elevate you know Shotzi to the na- next getting, level, they're, they're getting her ready to go against Ava Rain. Oh my god! Also, Girl. she's apparently done in NXT. Yep. So I have a feeling that she's gonna get called up to the bloodline to take care of Mia Yim. No, nah, no, nah. she's booking gonna be right now. She no, I'm no, no, book this, right no, book this right now. She's gonna Why be a tag team with Nia Jax. Oh man, <laughs> I would prefer Nia Jax in the bloodline than anybody else, bro. Because she could legit hurt somebody. <laughs> yeah, everybody hates Put Nia Rich Jax. I personally love her, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, just have Nia Jax join the bloodline. I mean, she she part of the the family tree somewhere down the down the branches, but no, she is. she's more the the rock side of the family. Yeah, she's from the the rock side. Yeah, yeah. but um. So yeah, man. actually, you know who I think Jax over Ava Rain, definitely. You know who I think would have been better if it was like probably five or six years ago, Tamina, because she wouldn't even have to talk, and she yeah. does have a little bit more of that demeanor of like meanness. Like she kind of has a little bit more. six pack de refresco. But anyways, who do you think is gonna win this match? Sounds choice. <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, uh, which one the 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 ma- the first match of the first Judgment match. Day versus Cody <laughs> and uh and Jey Uso? No, no, I already said it. it's going to be Cody and Jey Uso. Unfortunately, yeah, me too. Me too. I don't want that to happen, but it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, next match, we have the WWE Women's Championship match. Charlotte Flair versus Asuka versus EO Sky for the championship. Oh, it's a triple threat. I didn't yep. even notice. Yeah. EO Sky is going to win. So that means EO Sky has a 33 and a third percent chance of no. winning the championship. I swear to God, if Charlotte wins, bro, I quit. I'm taking a break. I'm taking a vacation. Because it wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't shock me. That's that's the sad part. It doesn't shock she me. She'll be like, for the twenty fifth time, women's champion. And then she loses it next week, yeah. and then wins it again to the next pay per view. So then she has more. <laughs> she loses it to Shotzi. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll dead ass quit. Like if Charlotte wins, I'm I'm done. You're done. <laughs> I'm fucking done. Like I can't take it anymore. Like her out there looking like a. F- Bro, I, yeah, I'm, I'm 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 done with her. But I, I think you'll you'll retain. Like you'll retain. They they can't do that to her. They can't do that to her. Yeah. I hope not. But she out there built like Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, hey, it's Halloween time. So I'm gonna go with you. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. I'm going with you. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, next match: the LWO versus Bobby Lashley Why? and the Street Profits. 
Why? I was surprised. This is what I was one. gonna what I was gonna say earlier. Why the fuck is this match on the fast lane? This should no, have been. I, I don't and, care. Like, and Champa <laughs> and Gunther should have been in this. In this. Yes, movie. but you know what? They just keep doing Gunther dirty for some reason. They only have them uh, fighting in big uh, uh, pay per views. I mean, I get it that he is a uh, excuse me a premium event. I'm I'm yawning because of this match. Why the fuck is LWO going against? Uh, I don't know. The I, heel, I, I, I heel really profits, know. whatever the hell you want to call them, uh, the bankrupt um, piggy bank. What, what the what's the group's name? I, I don't know. The Hurt name. Business too. The Hurt Business. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, I guess the Hurt Business. 2.0 is going to win. Yeah. Well, the sad part is there's a lot of potential because I, I like Bobby Lashley. Uh, it, this is kind of one of those we things where they say that, that yeah, we like them that, as the heels. Well, but 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 it seems like they say like it seems like the some of its parts aren't great. Like them as individuals are great, but when they put them all together, it's like we don't even know what they're what what we're, well, where we're going first of all you know where you go wrong whenever you have bobby lashley cutting the promo for you guys well not even that it's when it's when you have bobby lashley saying that they should be more tough and all of a sudden he's like smiling you're like it doesn't even make sense are you a heel or are you a face yeah and like that, this it, whole process is taking forever well, I don't even know. Like, it's confusing. It's confusing. And then the street profits, yeah, they go, they're dressed up to the nines, look like a million bucks. For what? I don't know. I don't know. The and only that, thing, the only thing that I see, I, I think they're going to win. But I think this is hopefully, I'm going to jinx myself one more time when Santos Escobar finally turns on Ray. He probably won't. They've had like five chances. It's going to be a WrestleMania 40. That's whenever it's going to happen. 40? 43? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be uh, Dom, Dom's kid is going to be 12 and he's going to be part of the storyline. <laughs> and taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He had a kid with mommy. <laughs> well, yeah, pretty big kid. <laughs> that boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a tall ass kid, bro. He's gonna yeah. he's gonna be like six five out the womb. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna spear out of the womb. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna come out like a tic tac, and as soon as you put water on him, he's gonna grow up to six five. I look like, like Brock Lesnar, like, <laughs> like a fucking chia pet. That's what is gonna happen. But uh, anyways, he's gonna man. look like a, <laughs> like a Southern California Brock Lesnar. <laughs> no. <laughs> He'll even, he'll even come out with the hat too. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Cholo, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, not exactly. But um, but yeah. So we have uh. So I hope it happens. I I mean, come on, Santos needs something new. Uh, I know that other guy, Joaquin Wild, is there. So there's a good chance he's there just to take a pin. Bro, he got. Wait, is that the guy? Is that the 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 the, the, the not Latino dude? Yeah, he's a the Filipino guy, I think. Bro, he took a, I don't know if it was a shoulder, if it was an elbow, from Bobby <laughs> Lashley whenever he was running to the ring, bro. That man, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that man saw heaven and came back. I think he, he probably saw the in, gates. I think he, he probably saw. cursed in Spanish when that happened. No, that's like, aren't you Filipino? I know Spanish now. <laughs> Learn that man real got quick. free Duolingo. Fuck Duolingo. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so so that's the only thing that scares me. I think he might be there for the pin. So more than likely, you're just gonna have uh, the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley win. Because honestly, in the ring, let's—I mean, come on, man! Like, it's not—it shouldn't even be a—that should be a squash match. We <laughs> really look at it on paper. Uh, but I do think I do hope that 
in lo fact, voy a hacer in, por mi ídolo. <laughs> no, in fact, in fact, think about this for a second. Um, you can have Santos Escobar be the guy that's willing to do anything it takes and go with Bobby. Because Bobby's been telling the street prophets this whole time, like, you guys gotta, you know, gotta be have more of an edge. You gotta. Chocaro, I know and try, porque... I, I, I know, but, 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 but. That could happen. And might as well. We had Sammy Zayn jo join the bloodline, so hey, he could exactly. be the same thing. He could join the herb business. Exactly. So it could work. It could work. And he can do all the whole thing of dressing up because he already does it and he does it well. I mean, it's handsome. Pause. Damn, I put poco, you know, you put poco on the thought on the I almost channeled Bray Wyatt. Oh, God. <laughs> RIP. Yeah. But, uh, but, anyways, who? Uh, so you have a squash match. Uh, and Bobby, Profits. the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley winning. But I'm going to take um, another level. I'm going to say Santos finally. Turns on Ray. I hope so. He has to. He has I to. I hope so. Now, moving on to the next match, you have John Cena and LA Knight. Yeah. Against Solo Sokoa and Psychopath Jimmy Uso. <laughs> Prediction. <laughs> LA Knight and John Cena is going to win. Yeah, that's gonna, that, that's an easy one to call. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, I don't see. John Cena? Yeah, I don't see them losing. <laughs> you don't see John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> you <ain't sure>. but, <laughs> but, uh, it took you it took you a minute there. You're like, hmm? yeah, yeah. It took me a while. But uh, but anyways, I I do think that this is good for LA Knight because it's putting him in a big match situation with apparently who they're calling the greatest of all time. I don't agree with it, but cool. Uh, they're Roman yeah, Reigns ain't there. What you mean? Hmm? <laughs> but they're calling him the greatest of all time. No, Michael Cole's like the greatest of all time. But Roman Reigns is not gonna be there, so so the greatest of all time is not gonna be there. That's neither of them, but that's okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, um, but I do think it's a it's a good thing for LA Knight. Get exposure, yeah. get out there, get involved with the bigger names than yeah. him. Um and this, this is th all gonna set up Roman versus LA. Yeah, well, this is actually a good test because we've seen other people crumble and they're in the bright lights. I don't lights. see that, bro. It's, it's Roman now or never. Win. Roman it's now or never. It's kind of like the whole Cody thing. I, honestly, now looking back at the whole Cody thing, do I think he may win the title? Let's say he wins it at Mania 40, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But now you kind of have more of a story. Now you have different things that he's done through the year. It's not just about hey i won the royal rumble i showed up now i'm going to win the title you know have like three matches in the whole year and i'm gonna beat roman reigns so that's not gonna happen so now at least you have a little bit more to, to talk about now he can say wait, okay wait, yeah wait, i went against going? roman i wasn't strong enough to beat him then i went against brock lesnar finally beat him because you know that everybody has a brock lesnar in their life it's a uh, bird then... <laughs> it's a plane yeah, then... no it's super cody, super cody. But then you have and Jay. But then, and then Jay, you have, yeah. uh, but then you have um, so you have the, so you have this full story, you know, pun intended, um, to to tell with Cody. Like there, he has done a few things. He has suffered a little bit. Granted, he's still presented as a superhero, which I can't identify with. Because I really, I really can't identify with the guy that dresses just like the Miz every day. Just yeah. saying, it's uh, it's like John Cena. Like, why didn't people like John Cena back in the days? Or like, why did people start hating John Cena? Because he was super John Cena. The man will win every single title opportunity, and yep. will lose every single title opportunity. Yeah, because he was big match, John. And he did have great matches, but it, but he was already yeah. predicted. It's like, okay, Rome, uh, Rome, uh, John Cena's gonna be on there. It's like, oh yeah, he's gonna win. We know he's gonna yeah. win. We know he's gonna win, and that takes away from from wrestling as a whole. So you think it's gonna be LA Knight and John Cena and me too? Um, I'll, I'll see, si, señor. No question about that. See, si, señor. And then jalapeno on a stick. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Let's go, bro. I gotta go. I gotta go to. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> okay. Last man tired. standing match for the world I heavyweight hope championship. Shinsuke wins. Your boy Seth Rollins against Shinsuke. Who do you think is gonna win? I want Shinsuke to win. But who's gonna win? If you had to bet money, if you had to bet a hundred bucks, who's gonna win? I'm not betting on this. <laughs> it's a free bet. Ever. It's a free bet. Oh, Seth Rollins, unfortunately. Yeah, me too. I'm taking. Seven. I just, I just hope Shinsuke wins. Like I've been saying, somebody needs to beat Seth Rollins for a while. Well, I hope so too. But, but do you think they've built Shinsuke big enough to beat him? I don't think so. It's they have. Like, I've been watching those sections of Raw. Yeah, they have. I feel like they it's have. it's cool because he does seem like a menace. But I don't know. I, I mean, to to be the champion, I don't know. I don't know. And to and to me, the only the, the only thing, and as much as I like Shinsuke, I do think that that would cement that this title is a basically a glorified mid card title. It's a prop. I mean, yeah, so glorify me. Like if LA Knight would win it, or even Cody for that matter, I think it would have a lot more prestige. No matter what. Mm, and just give it to Jay Uso. It'll be fine. And then he goes like this with the title. <laughs> he said, like, I said, Rompe. Just like Lonzo's knee. Yikes. But, anyways, all right, guys. So, just remember to like and subscribe. Peace. I'm going to sleep.